Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I have very exciting news today. The Surface Pro 7 has finally become my favorite Surface for artists. So what changed? And uh, I'm going to tell you also why you need to update to the newest version uh, in the Windows Insider program. So they did a firmware update and it fixes a couple different things. September has been a good month for the Surface Pro 7. Okay, so there's there's two big bug fixes that happened in September uh, 2020 for the Surface Pro 7 that takes it from being um, nowhere near my favorite Surface for artwork, and I was disappointed with it, to being elated with it and going, this is perfect and I don't need anything else. So that's a big, big change. Uh, so what things have changed? All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I updated yesterday, you'll notice here, the Surface app is now gray. I don't know why, but it is. And uh, you're gonna notice right here, the pressure going up and down. Um, this is normal. In the past, there was a problem with staircasing. Uh, what that looks like is right here. Relaxing for it to go down. Now, as soon as I put another, so if I were to do palm, Let's see if I can do this in a way you can see it. What? This is not smooth. Um, this is staircasing. And so... He's right. Um, all these little steps mean that when we go into another program, uh, that there's a good chance that this pressure ramping, if the program monitors... The mm, let's go ahead. This one, this is whiteboard, Microsoft whiteboard. This one, I have my palm down or my thumb on the screen. And you can see right in here how it goes out in sharp, in sharp, in sharp, and creates kind of like almost like a bug leg type of a look. And down here, these are smooth curves. So it is adjusting, tapering properly without that jumping action in between. Um, the device has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. And so what this looks like is this looks like it has um, 8 or 16. And part of what we're paying for in that improved experience mm -hmm. is this type mm -hmm. of uh, ramping in the pressure curve, not this. So this is fixed in the new update, uh, Windows Insider Program update from Microsoft. Um, I believe this is the information that you need. Build 2215. Uh, let's see if I can get over here. Uh, let me just demonstrate here inside of Photoshop. Um, this is such a beautiful one. Oh, I think I picked the wrong color. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful ramping. The pressure is wonderful and smooth and lovely. And before it looked like garbage. So, yay! Woo! Good job, Microsoft. I'm glad this was finally fixed. Um, we pushed very hard at Tablet Pro to get this bug fixed, and so we are very happy that it's finally. Uh, done. I got an email late last night from Microsoft support saying that they finally got it fixed and to update to the newest version in the Windows Insider program. Um, I went to the dev uh, version of Windows. Okay, so the other thing that we fixed in the month of September with Microsoft's help, a lot of help from Microsoft and an embarrassing amount of help <laughs> from Microsoft uh, that we are extremely grateful for is fixes to the pen tool. In the past, the pen tool did not work with the Surface Pro 7, uh, so I couldn't set up um, different things to remap the side buttons. And again, I'm using the R520 because it has two buttons on the side, and it has really clean, very low jitter lines. Um, let's grab Surface Stylus. Let's try this again. Oh. 
So you can see, uh, very similar. The uh, surface pen does a little bit thicker, heavier line. It's a little bit lighter. Which, of course, you can adjust in the um, Surface app. Okay. Um, now, this working means that you can do things like rapid color pick without touching the screen, which is super cool. Uh, you can do hover undo, and uh, you can navigate with Alt inside of ZBrush, and all sorts of cool things. Um, so those two fixes with the new build of uh, with the new build of Windows is a huge improvement for the Surface line. This is what you need. Um, yes, Insider Preview 20, 2015.100. And I'm sure it's one of these firmware updates, maybe HID class. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one, but either way, that's what you need to get this working correctly. And your Surface Pro 7 is going to be much more functional for artists. All right, so uh, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have a Surface Pro 7, any Surface device, if you use a stylus on a Windows 10 device, this is a great channel for you. So please subscribe, and until next time, stay creative.